Okay, well, there's another one. Yeah, you're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. We've got a question here. It says, my parents are a pain. Ooh, I would be the... said, I want to live somewhere else. They're always telling me what to do. They're telling me to pray all the time. They want me to do fasting. This is boring. And I'd like TV and game box. And, and I can't figure out what this other word is. Something, some kind of game, video game. All right. Your parents are a pain to you. Let me begin with that. In Islam, the first and foremost thing to remember is Allah. Allah created you. Allah gave you life. Allah gives you air to breathe. Allah is giving you food to eat. Now, you can accept that and then begin to realize that Allah is the one who gave you these parents. And Allah has also given you clear orders in the Quran on how to treat these parents. This is not a joke. And this is something to take very serious. Whoever treats their parents bad, Allah will give them children who will treat them the same way. Also, in the next life, Allah will not even look at you. A person can go to hell forever for mistreating their parents. And your parents, by the way, are the only people who really, really care about you. You may have someone who you think is your close friend. You might think, oh, I have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, they really care about me. That's not true. Because anyone who really cares about you wants the best for you in this life and in the next life. So who's ever trying to encourage you to do the things that displease Allah, then they're taking you away from what's really good for you. So that's not your friend. Your parents are trying to encourage you to do what will help you in this life and help you in the next life. The next life is eternal. It's never going to end. Where do you want to spend it? Do you want to be with your parents in the next life? you want to be in the paradise with Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The only way to do that is to follow Islam and obey the commandments. And the Prophet Muhammad was asked this question, who after Allah and his messenger has the most rights over me? He responded by saying, your mother. And they said, well then who? He said, your mother. And then who? Your mother. And then your father. Your mother, your mother, your mother, and then your father have the most rights over you. And as far as being boring, why is your life boring? Muslims are always busy. We have so much to do. If you're praying five times a day, if you're fasting Mondays and Thursdays, if you're taking care of your parents, if you're remembering Allah in your dhikr, if you're reciting the Quran, if you're spending time with good Muslims and going to the masjid, then I don't see how you could be bored. But if you're sitting around watching television and playing game box and that, this will really make you feel bored all the time. You'll never get enough of it. Let's go to the website, Islam Newsroom and get more information on that. Until next time, this is Yusuf Estes for Mailbox. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.